what's up guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time welcome and merry christmas y'all hold on let me get my top together what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl miss ernie vet and today i'm finally sitting down doing an aliexpress haul with you guys i don't know why this is so informal of me sitting in my freaking living room but it's cool i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the pieces that i purchased and most of these pieces i purchased actually for my birthday which was in october so Keep in mind, the shipping has been crazy, so yes. I had a few like small trinkets and I had to go run around and find them. So the first trinket is actually right here and it is so cute in my opinion. I don't know why I love this, but I do. It's a pocket knife, y'all, and I'm going to try not to cut my dang hand. Hold up. Okay, here we go. It's a baby pocket knife. It's about this big compared to my head. This is how big it is. And it literally just says, okay, but it's like a vintage gold it looks old as shit i've never used it yet and i only had it for about a month so i don't know why it looks so old already but i love that vintage effect it's just so cute i love that the blade is really really sharp and i feel safe i feel safe when i carry this around like i said it's kind of hard to open but i'd rather walk around with this i don't know how to close it though that's the only thing anyway i think it was really cute it was less than like three bucks i feel like with everything going on specifically ladies we actually need to take it seriously and invest in some good pepper spray tasers pocket knives whatever the case may be and this is just something that when i saw it i just had to grab it because it was so cute i literally just got this for the aesthetics but i'm definitely going to be investing i'm actually working on getting my gun permit my gun license this year ladies let's take care of ourselves men too protect yourself and protect one another because everybody out here is going crazy the second thing that i got is this right here and i'm just in a get prepared for 2021 like 2020 came and we wasn't ready period i don't know who was ready for this year because i was not period and so next year i just want to prepare for literally anything i want to get on planes next year i'm tired of being afraid of covid we can be cautious of covid without being afraid of covid take that for what you want but i just got this passport cover super cute it's iridescent pink and gold or rose gold and it is again the aesthetics but honestly these are just motivators for me y'all this is motivating me to travel this is motivating me to take care of myself and go ahead and get my gun license and get the things that i've been wanting to do and i've been wanting to get a passport for the past two years so this is literally my inspiration every day seeing this cute shit i want to put something in it and i want somebody to stamp my passport so this is just what it looks like on the inside and now i'm going to go ahead and start the process of getting my passport i probably should have did that how long this took which to be honest i just ordered this at the end of october so this came rather quickly today is the 25th and this has been here for a few days so this if you're looking to get this for a trip it doesn't take that long to ship to you which i do love and now i'm thinking about getting another one because this was super cheap and it's really cute but why rack up on these Aaron if you don't even have a passport but still they're super duper cute and like I said I'm definitely gonna have to take this somewhere I need a picture with this a passport inside of it super effing cute next thing that I picked up is if you guys don't know I love Chanel I'm one of those Chanel stands that I love authentic Chanel I love vintage Chanel vintage Chanel is my all-time favorite and I also love um, inspired Chanel because people are really creative. And every time I see something inspired by Chanel, it's sometimes better than Chanel. Sometimes. But anyway, I picked this up. This is actually a replica of the real Chanel mirror that they have on the site. I would never pay. Listen to me now. I would never pay that much money just for a mirror, okay? So when I saw this on AliExpress, I knew I had to get it because it was one of those collectible pieces, like photographs, trinkets around the house, t-shirts, just random things you would find with Chanel logo on them. The great thing about this is that it comes in a little baggie, and I don't know if you guys can tell, I'll have to do a close-up with better lighting. It has the Chanel emblem on the front right here with this velvet baggie. I love that because it honestly has kept this really, really like, safe and like not getting scratches on it at the bottom of my purse there's literally so much shit in there so i'm glad to have this cover because it's keeping this looking nice now i did see in some of the reviews from this particular vendor that some people received it it was a little bit damaged so i was kind of nervous but mine came perfectly the emblem is perfect it will not wipe off or smudge off or scrape off it's literally it's not a sticker it's just it's it's amazing okay 
It's not on the back, so it doesn't look cheap or anything like that. And then it's honestly just a dual mirror, if you guys can see that. There isn't a product or anything in there like that. It's just a dual mirror. Now, one thing I have been nervous about is this... Um, like just this section right here because I've seen some people like you know the old time mirrors like this could separate and things like that so I just been really careful with it but I love it one side's magnified and the other sides you know all right so those are all the accessories that I got and now we can move into what I picked up kind of like clothing wise I only got one clothing piece and I got one shoe shoe piece one clothing piece and one pair of shoes so let's hop into the shoes first because clearly i'm excited so these shoes everyone has been talking about on youtube on instagram everywhere all of your freaking fake all of your my girl us our favorite influencers have been talking about these shoes these are some prada inspired boots what i love about these boots y'all is that they don't have prada anywhere on them of course when you look at them if you know fashion you'll know these are prada knockoffs but i love that they don't have prada on them because they won't look like prada knockoffs they look like prada inspired boots keyword inspired just like chanel inspired you know if you are new to my channel, I would never buy like a Chanel t-shirt that wasn't authentic or wasn't vintage or something like that or was literally just inspired. If it's a knockoff, I'm probably not going to buy it unless it's a really, really, really good knockoff. I'm not going to lie, okay? But I would never buy the Prada boots that had the word Prada on them. That's just me. I would always buy the shoes that are clearly the shoe but i can say oh i got it from boohoo or i got it from aldo or i got it from you know stores like that that's really what i was going for i love that these shoes look just like the prada boots but they don't have that word i'm going to keep emphasizing that just a personal preference also these are really really light shoes so they look heavy as shit but they're honestly not I love that they're actually a little bit shiny, but they're not like too faux leather shiny, like they look really cheap. They just look really good quality. Like I love these boots, how they strap up in the front and then you can kind of tie it into like the military um, style lace up. I don't know. It also comes with this little baggie, which every time I wear these, I only wear these twice by the way, my friend's always like, oh, are you going to put something in it? And to be honest, I think that the packaging is probably still in there because I've never, yep. I'm not going to take it out either, but the stuffer, I'm just going to keep it in there because it keeps it formed and anything like that. I love these shoes. I'll have to put the size that I got in the description box because I wear a size US 7 and they don't have them on the bottom of the shoe. So I can't really tell you guys what I got. Um, the brand on the inside says Zulina. So I don't know. Z-U, I'll leave it on the screen. Z-U-L-I-N-N-A. And so, yeah, these are just Zulina boots, but I definitely had to include these in a video. I'm so mad, y'all, because I have a Fendi headband that's supposed to match the dress that I'm about to show you. And it was supposed to be Fendi, Chanel, and what is this? Who are you people? Prada. I had all the brands for my birthday. Ugh, it's okay, though. It's okay, because it'll be in the next haul. You guys will have to see it on Instagram. Add me on Instagram, at Miss Erin Yvette, because soon as that headband comes in, y'all, I'll include a picture. When that Fendi headband comes in, I will leave the link in my Instagram story for you guys to be able to shop that link. But you guys can probably find it anywhere, and I'll try to leave another duplicate link in the description box. The only thing about the link that I'm going to be showing you is I could tell you exactly what the product's going to be like. That makes sense. The next item that I got is just this dress. And I feel like I've seen this on Instagram and some boutiques as well. But I really love that I was able to get this because y'all know I love finding good vendors. Like 80% of my fashion is AliExpress. And most of the pieces I keep for years to come. So I like to find basics and pieces that will last me for years. And this dress is going to do just that. And I cannot wait. Today is Thanksgiving Eve. And I'm going to be wearing this bad boy for Thanksgiving. So if you want to know how it fits and how it looks Definitely check out my Instagram, how I'm going to be styling this piece with some AliExpress shoes. Oh, I just love AliExpress. Like, how how can you not? It's just a chocolate dress that would literally go. I practice my makeup for tomorrow. So just picture me with the dress on because that's how I'm going to look tomorrow. And um, it's just a chocolate brown and it looks so good on my skin. I've been, this is my newest favorite color to wear lately. I've been loving it. One side is like a no sleeve and then the other side is a long sleeve and it kind of has like a short high rise neck. I love that it's giving complete fall vibes, but I feel like this is a perfect dress for Florida, right? Because we bipolar as shit. It'll be cold in the morning, hot in the afternoon like it is right now. So this is the perfect dress to wear when you really don't know what's going on outside. 
Um, the dress also, I wish I could show you guys, the dress also has like some thigh action on the side over here. Can you see it? Can you see the cutout? Um, it has some thigh action. It's a little bit longer on the other side. Of course, I'll definitely try it on for my babies. But I did have to include this because I absolutely love this dress and I'm just... <laughs> I'm just obsessed with it. Saving the best for last is going to be this bag right freaking here. If you guys have seen my birthday vlog, I kind of showed this already. This is a bag that I purchased for my birthday. It is another Chanel inspired bag, but it has nothing to do with Chanel. I just feel like, of course, the shape of the bag and the print make this like so Chanel inspired and it definitely goes with my everyday looks. I've been wearing this bag every day, non freaking stop. So I did want to include this in this video, give you guys a little bit update on the bag it's super gorgeous the straps are literally perfect they don't hurt my shoulders like I thought they would because they are a little bit skinny and they're like chains but they don't it's rather comfy and I stuff everything in this effing purse the only downfall like I said in the first video is that it doesn't have any protector on the bottom so putting this bag on the floor will damage the bag especially if you put it in something moist or a liquid or something like that so i've been trying to make sure to refrain from putting my purse on the floor which ladies we shouldn't do that anyway but i'm gonna be real with you i do <laughs> but with this bag i've been trying to make sure that i'm very careful with it and i just love this freaking bag it's like it's got all the neutrals in it all the that's why i said you could wear this every freaking day i could wear it with this outfit right now I just love this bag. All right, guys. So that's everything that I have to show you in this haul from AliExpress. I hope you guys enjoyed my pieces. I definitely am loving the pieces that I got in this haul. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video for Vlogmas.